Okay, I want to discuss um, something called a four quadrant source. Four quadrant source. So what is a four, what are, what are quadrants? Okay, so let's talk about quadrants. So here's a graph of voltage versus current. All right, so you might be, you might have seen a graph like this maybe for a diode. Uh, let's say we have a diode and the diode will look something like this. And at some current, you'll measure the forward voltage. Um, so maybe at 100 milliamps, it'll measure 0.7, you know, volts or something like that. Anyway, you'll, you'll have this type of curve. So most of the time you're operating this curve. Well, what does this mean? Well, it means that you're operating in, uh, in the plus current, uh, plus voltage direction and the plus uh, current direction. All right. You might send negative voltage and a negative voltage might go out and then the uh, uh, might be a zener diode and it might have breakdown over here or it might be a regular diode and it'll go way far out before it has a before it has a, a drop down here but this is a minus voltage right you're going in the minus direction and because you're going in the minus direction you'll be measuring current in the minus direction as well so this is this is a negative current positive current negative current positive voltage negative voltage and then so this is a quadrant and this is a quadrant, right? And there's four of them. That's why they're called quadrants. So um, what about these two? Have you ever used these two? Um, you've probably seen lots of graphs, but I bet you've never seen anything up here or anything down here. What does that mean? Okay, so let's talk about this quadrant here. We're gonna have positive voltages, but negative current. What does that mean? It means that we are going to be Instead of giving current, we're going to be taking current, okay? So this is what a dummy load does. A dummy load will supply a current. It will, it will, it will steal that current and will, it'll go in the negative direction. And then if you have negative voltages, you need plus currents in order to counteract those, right? So these are basically sources, okay? So uh, source, source. And this is sink, sink and sink, okay? And so you can give voltage or you can take voltage, source and sink. Um, so uh, I have a particular machine that does this. It, it will operate in all four quadrants, okay? You can set it up to supply either plus and minus voltages or plus and minus currents. It's like a power supply, but it's very strange. Um, so it is a Keithley. Keithley, 2400, very famous box. Now the Keithley 2400 um, is usually used to measure things like diodes. You can set it up to, uh, they call them a, uh, what, a source measurement device, a yeah, I think a source measurement is usually what they're, usually what they're titled, source measurement. So you can source voltage and measure current or source current and measure voltage. So with diodes, you generally source current and then measure the voltage, but you could do just the opposite. You could source voltage and measure current. You could do it either way, um, but it allows you to do that. But because the Keithley allows you to operate in all four quadrants, it actually can be a dummy load as well. It, it can sync. Okay. And I bet you a lot of people have never used their Keithley in sync mode. Um, it's kind of a rare thing to do. Uh, most people are operating in, like I said, in these quadrants here, and it's very, very good for that. Now, if you can't afford uh, a nice Keithley uh, 20, 2400, a lot of times you can just use your power supply. Most of the modern power supplies read out voltage and current at the same time, and so they're sort of a, a source measurement device as well. Um, not as good, but they, 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 can get you, they can get you part of the way there. But uh, the po point of this video is to uh, take a look at a Keithley 2400 operating in, uh, operating in the sync mode, okay? So let's do that. Okay, so uh, this is, this is going to be the unit we're going to test. And so it's a power supply and we want to hook up it to a dummy load. I would normally use my dummy load, but uh, this is pretty low current. And we should be able to use the Keithley 2400 to, uh, to measure this thing. So let's get it set up. All right, so first let's, uh, let's demo this in uh, all positive. So we're going to uh, source 
current and measure voltage, okay? So we're gonna do source current, we're gonna hit the I button here, source current. We're gonna hit the edit button and this says I source, okay? And uh, we can change the current and the voltage that we want to do, okay? Um, if we hit V source, then it would see this is the voltage source and this is the current compliant, so you get to do either one. So we're gonna hit source current and we're going to do edit, and we can just type in a number. So let's say uh, 0, 1, 2, enter. So 0. 0.12 amps, okay? And there's a range. So I can go here, I can change the range. So this would be 150 milliamps, 10 milliamps, uh, microamps. It goes, it goes really, really small. So we're going to go back to amps. So we're going to do 0, oh, that's milliamps, amps. Zero, one, we'll do 100 milliamps, so hit enter. So 100 milliamps with a compliance of 21 volts, okay? And we're gonna turn that on. So now that's what it's doing here. Now we wanna measure the voltage. We're gonna, we're gonna force the current. We wanna measure the voltage. So here's the measurement. We hit measure voltage and it's doing its compliance. Going all the, 20, all the way to 21 volts and nobody is taking that 100 milliamps. And now I'm gonna take an LED. Uh, this is that uh, 12 volt LED I always use. And I'm gonna hook it up. And we can see that uh, it's taking the 100 milliamps, but it's only using uh, 10.97 volts to do that, right? Um, now we could do just the opposite because we know this is a 12 volt device. Okay, so we'll turn this on. Now we'll do uh, source voltage, okay? So we're going to source 12 volts, okay, enter. And we'll have a compliance, okay? We'll go to compliance. When you hit this, it toggles back and forth, goes to this one or that one. So hit it again. We're here, we're flashing here. Change the range. Uh, and we're going to do uh, 0, uh, 200, uh, 200 milliamps. Okay, enter. So source 12 volts and we'll allow it to go up to 200 milliamps. Okay, okay, so we've uh, set the 12 volts and the uh, 0.2 amps. And uh, we can now hook that up. We are measuring, measuring current here. And so it went to 144 milliamps uh, at 12 volts. So, um, so we've done everything in the positive quadrant. We've done uh, sourcing voltage and sourcing current, measuring voltage and measuring current. So that's the way this thing's normally used, right? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the negative thing. Let me disconnect this. All right. So we're going to do a source current. And this time, though, instead of positive, we're going to hit the negative button. So we're going to source negative, negative current with, a, with the same compliance, OK? So now it's doing negative current. And we want to measure the voltage, OK? So I'm going to set my power supply up to uh, output about 5 volts, OK? So that should be about 5 volts. And we are getting 4.6 volts at 100 milliamps. So it's, it's sinking uh, 100 milliamps. And in fact, if I read the meter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the meter exactly here. I'm going to put the meter exactly at 5. And what is it measuring? Yeah, 4.96. So uh, the, supply is working, the supply is working just great, OK? So what are we doing? We are sourcing a negative 100 milliamps, OK? Now, uh, I am going to change, um, let's see here, let me show you this. Okay, so I am uh, sinking 100 milliamps, and it says that my short circuit current protection is set at 225, so it's still operating. We see it's, we still have five volts. And I'm gonna come here to 100 milliamps, and that's right at the right at the boundary, so it's still outputting. Now I'm going to say my current compliance is only 50 milliamps, and boom, the power supply shuts down because that's what it's been told to do. It says if it's above 50 milliamps, then shut down. Um, so, yeah, it's working great. Okay, so I hope that was a brief introduction to the uh, Keithley 2400 in sync mode, right? Where we're we're setting a negative a negative current. And we are measuring measuring voltage. We can also measure current, and it's uh, 0 0.09983, right? So it's right around 100. <laughs> um, 
So its measurement capability should be a lot more accurate than its setting capability. So I think that's why there's the discrepancy here. Um, but normally we do that and uh, we're outputting, uh, yeah, right around five volts. Excellent.